welcome to the exam tips video for paper P5. My name is Vignesh and I'm here to share a few thoughts relevant to the December 2014 P5 examination. This is one exam where knowing exactly the topics that are going to come up in the exam is not going to make a great deal of difference. What is critical, what is essential to pass this exam is good exam technique. And a large part of that comes with practice of past exam questions, maybe from the past, can I say, eight to nine exam sittings. Nevertheless, it's always very comforting to have a few expected areas come up in the exam. And for the December 2014 exam, few of the key themes, many of which are examiners' favorites, that I think will come up in the exam are as follows. Divisional performance assessment, which includes a bit of ROI, RI maybe, that could be an economic value-added computation and discussion, although that's come up in June 2014, EBA is still uh, a significant part of P5. Transfer pricing is definitely a big topic uh, within divisional performance. The examiner could bring in a little bit of BCG into the question. So all of these ideas could form probably, uh, can I say, significant part of question one if at all the examiner decided to test divisional performance in question one. There could also be a, a question in section B uh, taking probably a part of all the topics I have so far mentioned. Besides divisional performance uh, uh, assessments, other relevant and probably, can I say, very important topics for the December 2014 exam would be environmental management accounting, which has not been tested for quite some time. And it fits well with the idea of integrated reporting, which is a new addition into the P5 exams. The examiner likes the theme of evaluating reward systems. So there could be a question somewhere for about six, eight marks. Uh, where you asked to talk about how good an existing reward system within an organization is. Besides uh, an examiner's classic and favorite it again, uh, evaluation of performance measurement systems. Now this could be done using a variety of non-financial models uh, and particularly relevant to the December 2014 exam would be the building block model and the balance scorecard. There's also potential for a question on the performance prism, which is a framework for meeting the objectives, needs of a variety of uh, stakeholders. This has remained long unexamined and there is a potential for a question in this uh, area. Besides this, there's been a recent article in the ACCA website on the F5 knowledge that underpins P5 and hence it is only prudent to be ready with uh, you know basic ideas on variances and uh, can I say uh, good question practice on activity based costing. Please bear in mind that on P5 what is examined is not ABC but ABM, activity-based management. So you, you may never have to do any computations, but even if you have to, most of the marks will be for the discussion on how you use the information for better decision-making, planning, and control. Besides this, uh, if you look at the past few exam sittings, there's always been a little bit of financial analysis for a few marks. Uh, this is not a number paper, definitely. You probably have 15% of the exam that's numbers, but uh, you know you could have some easy marks there. This could be a small little NPV or a small profit statement. Uh, bear in mind, it's going to be very, very simple and very rewarding for the uh, number of marks available because if you do some basic work, you are going to score really good marks there. Examples of this is the BPR question from June 2000. Uh, 14, where you had five easy marks, six easy marks for the numbers. Besides this final comment, please also make sure you have an idea of how uh, you 
go about a corporate failure question. There have been a couple of questions in the past. As long as you do those, you'll be able to tackle a question on corporate failure, which is which yet again has remained unexamined for a very, very long time. All right then, so I wish you all the very best for your upcoming exams. Make sure you practice enough questions before you go in and uh, apply best practice exam technique. And I'm sure you'll all do really, really well. Thank you and good luck.